Alright guys, I was just finished making the 2,000 subscriber video right here on this boathouse and the fish were really hard to catch, okay? I caught some, I mean I was catching some, two or three casts, but they were, they're not easy to catch today. And I thought this is a perfect time to share something else with y'all, another secret. Alright, bam, when the fish are hard to catch, you know what you do? And when they, when they really don't want to bite? That's a good 10 and a half, 10 and three quarter inch fish. You go to something like this little bit. Now I used a pink head. This is a 1 16th ounce head, size eight hook. They're on my website, okay? Cost the fish, I'm gonna show you how deep they are. That's why I netted him too, that little hook. Let me show you something. The fish start right here at 14 feet and they go to 22 feet. All those little marks right there are fish. Some of them are up under that dock. So what I done was, I pitched it up close as I could that dock, giving it line so it'll fall straight down. All right. If the fish that are up shallow don't seem to be as aggressive. Um, now, they start about 12, 14 foot. I don't know where my jig is. I'm watching the fish. When I see the fish move, I'll start pouncing my jig a little bit and start reeling it back. All right. All right, guys. My camera's getting hot on me. Trying to turn my back to the sun, trying to cool my camera off some. The case is black, and if you get a hot day like this where you're facing the sun a lot, it gets a little hot, all right? Bam, he's not very big. He's probably right at 10. This is a decent sized school of fish, though, is the reason I've stayed here. Uh, I've caught a lot of 10 to 11s out of this school. I didn't fight like a bass. No, that's crappy. <laughs> that surprised me. He was everywhere. Decent fish, too. He was everywhere. He just didn't come on in. He was all over the place like a bass does. Nice fish, too. On the little bit. Guys, this is middle of May. Water is 71 degrees, and they pro spawn, and they're stocked up on this dock. So I've caught quite a few on a full size two inch bait, but I wanted to prove to myself. And I haven't made any videos lately with a little bit, and I was thinking about that. Um, and like I said, on the two-inch bait, I caught plenty of them. It got a little tough to catch her at the end. Once they caught on to me, I knew I was there. But since I switched to this little bit, I've caught a few more. It's a good bait if you got a school of fish and they quit on you. Uh, if you got an extra rod, I got two-pound test on this rod. Rig your rod up with two-pound test on it. And you got a good fishing spot before you leave it, throw a little bit in there, or a bug. You can put a, a bug and do the same thing uh, before you leave that spot. You can see the fish back in here. It's a bunch of them. They're back in there. I can't do anything about it. You can't cast around these, um, under these docks from the boats. <laughs> you can skip back in the corners, but you got to watch. There's braces on them, too. You can see. See this X right here? If y'all can see that or not, it's an X right there. That's a brace. Yep. There's a brace right there. See, see the mark right there? You can see them right here. Yeah, see the V looks right here? Those are braces. I don't know why the braces don't come out as good as you think they would on the live scope, but they don't. They're hard to see on the live scope. So a lot of these fish are up under the dock. I can't, I can't catch them. I can't even get to them. So what I'm doing is I'm pitching around close as I can to the post like that. And let, just letting them fall down through there and, t and taking a chance. And one of them sucking out. I see one, I see a couple moving out just like that. Oh, he got off. <laughs> he, he was, he was, he read the same script I read. He just got off. Let's see if another one will do it. But I let it fall down beside the post and hopefully one of them will squirt out from the dock and decide he wanted a bite of it, you know. I'm going on down through there now. I don't, I haven't seen any of them run out yet. There's, oh. I messed him. I've had two run out now, and I've messed both of them. <laughs> Let's see if we want to run out and grab it. A little far right inside that dock. That's all I can do. Yeah, I can throw back close to the pontoon, but you've got to be very careful here. Like I said, with the braces and everything, 
very easy to get hung up here. I've lost a lot of jig heads here. As you can see, there's a lot of fish here. And you see the cross members? See the X's on there? I, I don't see my bait. I'm uh, 15 feet from the dock now. I'm going to leave. That's why I come and got closer. You can say, you get too close, you can, uh, you can spook them. But if you get close enough, get those back in there, that harder for them to see you. You got people walking in the dock sometimes. It helps cover your sound. Some boats, the boat just came by behind me, a bass boat. There you go. All that helps hide your noise too. And you can get a little closer to them if you got, uh, if you got traffic like that going on, can't you? I see the ones back in there might be smaller. Didn't say that it was all big fish. <laughs> Woo! All right, guys, I'm going to end it. This is just a little short with a, with a little bit. Uh, that is the sunshine color or spark. I don't know which one it is. I don't have the bags marked sometimes, guys. I just stuff some in a bag. That's sunshine, I think. I just stuff them in a bag and put them on the boat. <laughs> and I got so many colors, it's hard to keep up with them. The most, most crap I see those right here on this dock. It's only a few on the other ones. I don't have a hard time stopping on it. Last cast, last cast. How, how, many, how often do y'all do that? Last cast, one more cast. It's uh, almost six o'clock. So I got a dock I'm gonna check on the way back in and that's it. Oh, there it is, I, that I haven't fished this year. That's what I'm telling you, a little bit, bam. If you want to catch some fish, and this is a 1 16th, again, ounce head. It's a size A hook. The jig heads and the baits, both are on my site, okay? Color pack, you get a couple different colors. And uh, plain ones work just as good, doesn't matter. If you want colors, there you go. See y'all, guys. Appreciate you. Thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all new guys that's joining. We broke 2,000. All right, appreciate you a lot. Hope you enjoy your videos. I try to share some secrets with you <laughs> uh, every time. And the secret on this video, if the fish quit biting on you, go to a smaller bait. That's an inch and a half minute, the bug, and the TNT worm. I got three of them that will catch fish when the, when the bite stops. You need that little size eight hook. So when you order them, order some little jigs and stay in the shade. See how I'm in the shade? Sunny's on that side. Get on the shade of whatever you're fishing. Lay down tree, boat houses, boat docks. Get on the shady side, they'll stay on that shady side. They like that shade, don't they? See y'all guys next time, Fishing Lake Country.